Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guy. Thank you for joining me today. This is kind of like the first video back for me. Uh, I've done this video a number of times and um, I've deleted it and redone it and hopefully this will work out well. I don't know what's going on in my head, but I just don't think that the videos are good enough anymore. But we'll see. So, as you can see here, I've got a comparison between the uh, Marco tribute master collection which is this set here this is an 80 set and the phoenix color um set as well uh color pencils now the reason why i've done these two sets and before i go any further i want to say about uh pricing <clears throat> um Every time I do a review, especially when I do a review of a pencil that I've just found that maybe nobody else has or it's just come about and and because these two sets I got on AliExpress, when I got them, they were relatively inexpensive. And every time I do a review, I feel like saying to people, based on pr prior experience, if you really want to get this set, I would advise you to get it now because the prices will change. But then that fi I feel like what I'm doing is is scaremongering people out to go and get something, and people will think that I am in some high uh, benefiting from from doing that, and so I, I I don't do it. But unfortunately, both these sets now are significantly more expensive than what I purchased them for. And the reason why I've done this comparison, and I'll be doing a few more, is because I get a lot of people asking me, Harry, what are the Marco Tribute like against the Faber-Castell Polychromos? Or what are the Phoenix Colour like? Or the um, Bronze Ale or whatever pencil. And it's always it always seems to be, the biggest question seems to be against the uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos. And I understand why, because the, the Polychromos is a workhorse. It's a really all, it's a fantastic all-round pencil. So many professional colour pencil artists use the, the, the Faber-Castell Polychromos. And um, people want to try and find an alter a cheaper alternative to that pencil. And again, I completely understand that as well. Thing is, and this is something that um, I, I'll probably get knocked down for saying, but the thing is, if you want the Faber-Castell Polychromos, or Chromos, sorry, then you're going to have to save up and get that pencil. You will get alternatives. You will get pencils that are a little bit like it, but you'll never get a pencil that's exactly like the Faber-Castell Polychromos because that pencil has been made by a company that's been in the business for over 100 years. And so they have refined their ingredients and all the rest of it down. It's taken them a long, long time. When these cheaper brands come about uh, on AliExpress or, or other, words, other places, these Chinese brands... They're good pencils. I'm not saying that they're not good pencils, but they don't have the longevity. They don't have the all of the things that companies like Caran Dash, Derwent and Faber-Castell have. These companies have got a long time of trial and error, trial and error under their belt. And that's why so many people love the Derwent Lightfast, the Luminance, and the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Because when you feel quality and you use quality, it's really, really difficult to replicate that at a cheaper cost. Really difficult. So that's the first thing I'd say. But having said that, as somebody that comes from a very, very low, low income family myself, I understand just as well as any of you guys how difficult it is and how frustrating it is to want to get something and you just can't afford to get it. You do, no matter what you do, you just can't afford to get it. You've got other priorities and all the rest of it. And so a colored pencil may not be top of your prior priorities when you've got to feed your kids and your family and make sure that the, the lights stay on and make sure that the heating's on and all these other things. 
So hopefully what I can do here is in these comparison videos, which I'll be doing quite a bit of now, because I think there's not too many pencils left on the market that I haven't already reviewed. So I, I if you guys can think of a pencil that I haven't reviewed yet and you would like to see me review, please leave it in the comment section down below. And if I can afford it and I can get it, I'll definitely do that because I'm, I'm looking for new products to review. But until then, I'm just going to be doing a lot of these comparison videos because, like I say, I do get asked a lot of questions. So anyway, let's get on with it. Now, if you do want to know more about these pencils individually, I have done individual reviews. So I'm not really going to be talking about the core size or anything like that in this video. I'm just purely going to be talking about how they have compared together. Now, I... I you can see here the artwork that I that I completed, okay? And it's really simple. It's just a simple apple, okay? And the reason why I do this all the time is because um, an object like this, it allows me to lay down a lot of layers so I can, I can understand the difference between the, 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 the pencil's layering abilities. And also as well, because of the way the apple is or the way the object is, you're supposed to get uh, shadow and things like that. So it helps me understand the contrast and the saturation levels within the pencils and the, the pigments that are being used and stuff like that. So although it seems like a very simple uh, drawing, and it is, it this particular type of drawing, this particular type of subject uh, allows me, it helps me understand the pencil a lot better. And when I do it like this side by side, I think you can see yourself the the difference in now of course I'm not a photocopier so the the, the drawings aren't going to be exactly the same but you know the the methods that I used are pretty similar so and also as well I do have some uh, a speed drawing of both of these which you can watch uh, I'll have some clips popping up here while I'm talking so you can see it as well but if you want to see the full speed drawing of both of these together there'll be a link for that down below okay so one of the things that i found with regards to these these sets oh but I, before i go on any further by the way the marco tribute okay so this was the 80 set that i got and it's the master collection because it's it's it, it's done in these li gorgeous little boxes um a little bit like the uh, Tombow Irrigetin boxes. In fact, pretty much identical in, in size. Uh, and then obviously the, the the Phoenix color also come in these beautifully illustrated boxes. A um, little bit bigger, but same, same, same type of thing. But the Marco Tribute also have 120 set 10 but they also have a 300 set now the 300 set that they have also comes in this gorgeous elaborate box but it is super expensive i think on aliexpress it's in and around 450 to 500 pounds and so you've what you what you've got to think is right okay if i'm going to spend 500 pounds four or 500 pounds on a pencil am i going to use that for 500 pound on a pencil like this or am i going to go for the 100 set of dermot lightfast or the 100 set of karen dice luminance or the 120 set of faber castell polychromos and so they're the different things that you've got to try and weigh up and come to terms with yes you might get a beautiful box but the box and the packaging albeit beautiful and gorgeous and all the rest of it isn't what's going to create the artwork for you and ultimately if you're going to spend that amount of money on an art product like the dermot lightfast the luminance or the polychromos i'm guessing that the the vast majority of you obvious, not all of you but i i know that a lot of you if you're going to be going up that level into that type of pencil you're going to be getting some sort of return in other words selling Commission, doing commissions, selling prints, uh, d doing cards with them, whatever. Something that you're going to sell at a fair or sell online or sell on Etsy or something like that in 
and so therefore those pencils are going to make money for you. I know not everybody's going to do that. I know some people are just just want a really nice pencil. <coughs> sorry, sorry, excuse me. Some people some people want a really nice pencil just to do um, adult coloring with, and that's absolutely fine. I'm not saying that there's a distinction between the two. So anyway, let's get on with the my observation of these two pencils. They are very very similar they're the the core of both of these pencils is very similar when um when you are using them and they they remind me when i'm using them they remind me of a, a mix between the faber castell polychromos and the pablo in terms of their their hardness or their softness, I'm not going to go into oil and wax based pencils. If you have been watching my channel, you know my feelings on oil and wax based pencils. Um, I prefer to describe the, the pencils in terms of how hard the core is, or how soft the core is, or how well it layers, or how well. I don't really, th for me personally, the the level of wax or the type of wax and all these other different variations, variables in a pencil don't really matter at the end of the day. What matters is how it's going to layer, how it's going to blend, uh, how it reacts with odorless mineral spirits if you're that type of colour pencil artist, those types of things. <clears throat> so, um, in, my, in my right hand here, I have the just two pencils from the Marco Tribute Collection. And in my left hand here, I have two pencils from the uh, Phoenix Color. Now, again, both pencils really, you know, especially the, more, the, the, the Phoenix Color, these pencils are just beautifully illustrated, absolutely gorgeous. Um, but their cores are very, very similar. And before I'd done this comparison, I would have basically said that they were the same pencil in in so many respects but when i was doing the artwork side by side i did find <coughs> that with the phoenix color i found it hard really really difficult to get uh sat dark saturate like contrast from some of the darker colors i know the, the way the light's shining on this but I needed to get a little bit of shadow down at the bottom here on where the table is, where it's lying. And I needed to get a little bit of darkness down around here on the apple and on this side of the apple because the light's coming from this side here. It's coming from the, the top. And so there needed to be a little bit of darkness. Both pencils didn't do terribly well with regards to saturation levels, with regards to make, like using the dark colors that are in their sets to to help me get shadow neither pencil was very good but of both of them the phoenix color was a little bit more difficult and you can see there that the apple itself is pretty two-dimensional there's not very much in the way of depth or anything like that and i did try now although this one here looks very patchy um and again that was because the the darker colors in the Marco Tribute collection didn't really perform that well either. And on both pencils, I had to like you know put a lot of quite a lot of pressure down to get some darkness. Um, that would be my 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 main takeaway from from both of these uh, bits of artwork. So the pencils are very similar, but I just found that the darker colors, because I use, I mean, it, I started out using dark reds from both of the sets, and they just weren't cutting it in terms of being able to get me some of these darker colors. So then I would go to like the uh, darker browns, and again, the darker browns started to work a little bit better here for the Marco Tribute, but uh with the phoenix color they just weren't showing up at all now i don't use for both of these i didn't use odorless mineral spirits i just used um after i'd done it 
the Karen Dash um, blend and pencil. But I think, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's up to you. I have the images over on the art gear guide as well. So I'll have a link for that down below. You can go across, take a look at the, the images, the still images that I've taken of this. And you can see for yourself. And Because some people might think that the Phoenix color looks better than than the Marco tribute and that's absolutely fine at the end of the day as artists we all have different different styles and different ways that we want to do things neither way is right or wrong it's just what it is and so all I can do is just tell you from my point of view and from what I like to do and what how I like to draw um, where, where the, the issues were that I felt um, in terms of layering both pencils layered really well. I didn't have any problems. Now, the paper I used here was the Dermot Lightfast paper. So I'm using good quality paper. Um, in fact, the Dermot Lightfast paper, in my opinion, is pro perhaps one of, the, one of the best papers on the market at the minute for uh, coloured pencil artists. But that's just my opinion. Uh, I think it offers great texture and everything. Uh, but... On this paper, both these pencils, I could have continued layering, but I just wasn't getting the the depth and the and the the contrast that I needed that I wanted. Uh, so I had to just basically call it a day. But that's my take on the um, on the Marco tribute and the Phoenix color comparisons. Now, like I say, I'm going to be doing a few more of these comparison videos. I will inevitably be comparing quite a lot of pencils to the Faber-Castell Polychromos because that's the biggest ask that I'm getting. You know, does X pencil compare to the Faber-Castell Polychromos? And at the end of the day, I want to try and help you guys understand the differences between certain pencils against the Faber-Castell Polychromos. But I will be doing comparisons against like the, the Dermot Lightfast and the, um, the, the Luminance as well, because I know that they are pencils that are used by color pencil artists quite a bit as well. So that's my comparison for the Marco Tribute. Now, like I said, Marco Tribute and Phoenix Color. Like I say, if you want to know more about the pencils individually, I'll have the links for the individual reviews down below. You can go across and you can find out all the stats and all the rest of it about both pencils individually. But in terms of the comparison, that's my result. You can uh, see the speed drawn down below. Uh, sorry, the link down below will take you to the speed drawing and also the still images for this. And also I'll have like a written conclusion over on the art gear guide as well, which sometimes just allows me to elaborate a little bit better. Uh, I find writing, I can articulate things a little bit better than talking. Um, so that will be available over there if you fancy going across and taking a look at the written one uh, as well. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, um, I hope you enjoy it as much as all of the other videos, I just do not know what's going on inside my head at the minute, I just can't seem to get these videos right, in in as well, right as, as much as I want them to be. Um, I am playing about with different, you know, different angles and things like that, there. I'm tr maybe that's what it is, maybe I'm just trying to play about with things a little bit too much i don't know but anyway we'll see we'll see how things go thanks very much guys i look forward to seeing you all again very soon thanks bye